When we first met equations in one variable, we understood an equation in one variable as representing a restriction on what values the variable can have. So for example, when we see the equation 2x equals 10, that tells us that x can only be a number that gives us 10 when we multiply it by 2. So, in other words, x has to be 5 in this example. We understand an equation that contains more than one variable in a very similar way. In particular, if we have an equation that contains two variables, it restricts the pairs of values that the variables can have. So for example, if we have the equation x plus y equals 10, that means that x and y must be a pair of numbers that add up to 10. So this is going to have lots of solutions. In this example, we could have x equals 3 and y equals 7, for example, because 3 plus 7 is 10. Or we could have x is negative 5, y is 15, because negative 5 plus 15 equals 10. We could even have fractions, right? x equals three and a half, y equals six and a half, because three and a half plus six and a half, right, that'll be nine and two halves, so nine and one more is ten. And this is typical for an equation in two variables. So far, when we've had a lot of variables around, like when we've had formulas, We've been given the values for all but one of the variables. But now we're going to shift that focus and think instead about the relationship between the two variables that the equation suggests. Now when I talk about a relationship between two variables, I'm not looking for anything complex. So for in my example up here, the relationship between x and y is they add up to 10. As we work more with equations in two variables, we'll see other ways of describing these relationships. But this is really what it comes down to.